Really, truly, the purpose of this is to help all of all of us connect with our guests. And you've got a multitude of guest experiences, whether you have um, your retired traveler, your road warrior, your young traveler. Um, I mean, you've got the retired traveler who's got the, the time and the money. You've got the young, the young person who's got all the time and no money. And then you've got the people in between who are trying to amass all that money. So, um, each one of those people has a different experience when it comes to travel and what their expectation is, in particular with, with respect to technology. So, we are going to give you the opportunity to interact with people throughout the ages. All right, so now what we want to talk about here is, as you can well imagine, each one of these individuals has a different expectation when they get it to a hotel. So, um, I want to, each of you, I'd like to answer, how many electronic devices do you carry with you that require connection to the internet when you travel? I carry a minimum of three. I've got my iPhone that is right there. I can see it if it rings. It's always attached to me, unfortunately. I've got my iPad and then I've got my MacBook Air. They're always with me. Irene? I just would take my iPad mainly because I have my Kindle on it and my iPhone. Yeah, I ha carry a maximum of two. That would be my iPhone and laptop if it's during a spring break when I need to work on homework. Okay, so this one requires more bandwidth. That's consistent with a road warrior. Um, and then f just for, for sure pleasure for the other two. How many, have any of you ever had any difficulty in connecting to the internet in the hotels that you've stayed at? <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring it up, right? <laughs> Are you talking? Yes, oh, go ahead. Girl, I can answer forever on this. Yes, depending at the hotel. Um, we kind of spoke briefly at lunch. Depending on the brand of hotel that we're in, the type of sub-brands that are under that, the internet connection can be a little bit better, but most of the time that's our biggest complaint is bandwidth. Why is the internet so slow? Or my biggest complaint personally, I do a lot of conventions like this. So when I have some sort of downtime back in my hotel room, that's when I'm trying to send out emails or I'm trying to do something and within the hotel room I can only connect one device to the Wi-Fi in the, in the room or I have to pay an additional X amount of dollars for device number two. Well, I have three devices. We're talking 15 bucks per device. It starts to add up a little bit. So that would be my, my number one complaint. Some hotels are quick. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you obviously stay in more than 10 hotels over the course of a year. Absolutely. Okay, so let's just let's break it down to just like the past, past 10 experiences. Of those 10, have you had any internet co connectivity challenges? So um, the percentage, I guess, is really what I'm looking for. I would say it's about 50-50. About 50-50. So, Irene, how about you? We don't stay in hotels that don't have Wi-Fi. I don't know why. We've never run into it where we're going, oh my gosh, we have to pay for Wi-Fi? So, um, even in Cancun, <laughs> the all-inclusive was really kind of cool. But it, they had Wi-Fi there, too. So I don't have that problem. So and you've never had an issue connecting? No, because it's not huge for me okay. in the first place. But, right, it's not a huge priority. But, How about you? Usually when I'm looking for accommodation, whether it be in a hotel or through like a hostel or bed and breakfast, it has to have Wi-Fi. And there has been an instance where one of the bed and breakfast mentioned that they would have Wi-Fi. Well, the moment we showed up, we were in Rome. It didn't work the entire weekend, and we were very disappointed, me and my group. So that's a big um, deciding factor because after you know our day touring the city, we actually want to connect to Facebook, <coughs> upload those pictures, and show them. We actually want to like share them immediately in case our phone gets lost or something happens. I like mobile kiosks the check-in kiosks, the self-service check-ins, that we obviously know that they're hugely successful in airports and they have not traditionally gone over well in hotels. Do any, ha, huh, you've got an opinion, <laughs> I can see it already. Okay, go ahead, talk. <laughs> um, right on with the airports, if it wasn't for, it's on my phone, I don't even have to go to a kiosk anymore, but when it comes to the hotel experience, it's, I like to walk in and speak with the person behind the front desk, rather than, I've checked in plenty of times with the, mo with the kiosks, but I like to, the way I travel, I like to go talk to the front desk and say, hey, I'm platinum so-and-so, what's the best room you have, what's the view, can I get more pillows, what about these kind of pillows, I'm a little bit particular. <laughs> So I like to actually have that face-to-face -face interaction where it's not 
kind of done for me. I like to negotiate my best room possible. Ah, uh -huh. negotiation. Uh huh. <laughs> I'll take these too. Yeah, I. I feel like the places I've been, I really like when I'm feeling welcome. It's like going to someone's home, too. If you're spending the night there, you want to feel welcome, that they're happy to have you there, versus when you're at the airport, you're just trying to go in, through, and just, just go. But there you're about to go and maybe relax after a long day of walking throughout an entire city. So it's that feeling of comfort that you want to go lay down and rest after having been received very well with a nice smile. and that encouragement. Um, I'm the opposite of these two. I want to get to the hotel and not stand in that line to check in. And in Las Vegas, it's huge. Every hotel we've been to, the lobby has that line that circles around, that switched back and forth. And that's the last thing I want to see when I check into a hotel. So if I could do it faster, that would be great. <laughs> About the ability to use your smartphone as your room key. How do you feel about that? Adore it. Love it. I use my smart smartphone for everything. If I fly southwest, I get panicky because you actually have to have a physical ticket and it's not on my phone device. <laughs> so to have it, and I lose room keys like a champion. I have to, I go through at least five in one stay. So if I could have it on my phone. <laughs> She's an expensive guest. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I would like it too because we're constantly having to go back downstairs and you know get another room key. Yeah, I completely agree too, especially because we're more driven to being attached to our phones constantly than that's one thing we won't lose or we won't really have trouble with. And yeah, previously this weekend I, I was staying at a hotel in Palm Springs and I had to go down three times to the front desk to keep so that we could keep on swiping my card and you know, reactivating it, and it wasn't working, so it was quite frustrating. Um, but I feel like the, hopefully, if they have the good technology and it's you know error free, I would definitely love this. There's been obviously some news of late about hotel guests' private information being hacked. Um, how big a concern is this to you guys, or are you of the mindset like I've been that oh, this isn't going to happen to me? I kind of have that mindset, but also I, I book everything online. I am a loyalty member with my particular brand, so I feel like if anything were to happen, it would be through that website. I guess I just kind of willy-nilly go through life like it won't happen to me, unfortunately. So you're not, you're not overly Oops. concerned about the security, <laughs> yeah. okay? How about you? I am really concerned about that, especially hearing about all these like credit card hackings and, and stores and everything. So. This is, this is a, a major concern to me, especially because I'm not going through a particular hotel every time I'm changing, especially through Airbnb. Do any of you ever plugged in your own devices to the access panels in the room on the televisions? I have not. Uh, usually when I'm traveling, it's mostly so I can spend time out of the room. The room is only a place where I am willing, you know, looking forward to just resting and catching up for the next day. But I, I, I don't feel it's needed for me, especially for like leisure travel. Maybe in the future, if I'm more business oriented, I would feel maybe I could have a, a meeting in my room and use it for that purpose. But in the meantime, I, I, I don't feel I really need it. The only time I've tried was at a hotel in Las Vegas. And all of my, I have all Apple products, and they're all the latest generation. And when I was trying to plug in, it was my iPhone at the time, I was trying to plug it into one of the wall devices that they had. I think I wanted music. And they only had the adapter for the older generations. And so it's like, well, I'm almost there. I tried, but it just it wasn't, a, it wasn't as fully adapted to what my needs were. So other than that, um, when I'm in the room, it's kind of quiet time for me. I don't really turn the TV on. I have my iPad. I hate channel surfing, so my iPad is great for that. And then I'm just working. So. Yeah, to me, the room has to be clean and comfortable and be nice if it had a view, but um, no, we're not really into the electronics when we're on trips and hotels. The only question for the panelists, uh, if you were going to your hotel room, it would be easier, ease of connecting your device and being able to use your Netflix account and the television, would that be an option? In the if that's easy, I would do that every time. I kind of joked about, I hate channel surfing. So yeah, when I'm on my iPad, I'm on Netflix. 
if I have if I have downtime because I'm the road warrior, I'm working all the time. But if I have downtime, if we could connect to Netflix like that, sold. If we're on a vacation and we have downtime, that would be really cool to catch up. Mm, well, I have the option of maybe watching Netflix when I'm at home. But usually, when I'm personally when I'm traveling, I'm more about spending as much time outdoors as I possibly can, and then just. I must be really tired by the time I get back to, to the hotel room or to wherever I'm staying and just I just want to sleep after that and just be ready for the next morning. So maybe in the future. <laughs> Most important thing to you about a hotel stay? What I do like the technological advances that they're making. I've stayed in one more, I call it techie hotel, that I loved the lights immediately went to a dim light when I walked in. The TV greeted me by name, playing soft music. It's, it just created this whole experience for me that is different from some of the more, I guess, business travel friendly hotels that I've stayed at. So it's the entire experience from top to bottom. Just when you're trying to work and trying to be productive, for me, I need to have certain things lined up. I need to have a, a secure connection to the internet. Wi-Fi would be great. I would like to have some sort of a business center where I can print things off that's easy access for me where I don't have to chase down a manager for a key to let me in so I can print off one document. So, and some of these hotels haven't had that. And then on the flip side of things, I've stayed in phenomenal hotels that have provided me all of those things and the service was top notch from start to finish. And it was, it was as if I, I was a true guest. I wasn't working anymore. I was there for kind of a leisure time, but it just made my life so much easier. And for me to go to a convention the next day without having that worry on my head, it made it a, a phenomenal experience. That all of you got at least a little bit of a glimpse into the uh, mindset of today's travelers from different age segments and what's important to them. Um, would you please welcome, well, thank with, along with me, thank them for taking time out of their schedules to come and meet with you.